Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pet. So today I'm gonna teach you how to grow moss for profit. I've been working on this video for the last six months or so. So if you want to have a nice moss farm like this, if you wanna make some extra money growing moss, then stay tuned. I got some cool footage for you. Definitely gonna learn how to grow some moss, but let's uh, not take any more time. Let's get to it and let's learn how to grow moss for profit. So at this point, you may be asking yourself, Kyle, how am I gonna grow moss fast for profit? How can I do that? Kyle, how possibly can I grow moss fast for profit? With this right here. So this is something that has uh, been pretty cool, pretty amazing, and has grown moss really fast for me in the past. So check this out. This is what we're gonna be using. So this is a little greenhouse basically, and it is used for starting seeds. It is used for hydroponic setups. It's basically a greenhouse dome. And then if you take this lid off, what you have is a little tray. So this tray is meant to have soil spread across it, grow your microgreens, grow your seeds, whatever you wanna do. And then there's a drip tray that collects water. So super simple, super easy. I'm gonna go ahead, get this guy set up, get it going so you can see this amazing growth that I had and how this works. Super simple, great way to grow moss terrestrially for profit. Before we get into setting up that grow out, check this out. So this is my existing moss farm. So this has been how I've been growing all of my moss. I have a few different types of moss in this tank, but this tank has been amazing and it has been a great producer for me. I've been using a few of those suction cup flats that I got from Lucky Aquatics, as well as a few that I made myself, and then some simple moss bridges with some cross stitch patterns that I made. And those guys are okay, but definitely this has been a great way to grow moss but this new way that I've started, it blows everything out of the water. So moss grows so much better when it is grown out of water just because it has access to that CO2. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab four different types of moss to add to this existing grow out. So all I'm doing is I'm trimming off as much moss as I can off of these pieces and then I'll put them back in the tank because they will continue to produce. This moss farm has been doing great. The moss is growing fantastic, but growing moss terrestrially is definitely the way to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and quarter this out into four different sections and I'm gonna chop the moss up really fine. So I'm not gonna go too, too fine, but I'm gonna cut it into about quarter pieces, half inch pieces, just that way the moss will propagate faster. So I've got four different type of mosses that I'm going to grow terrestrially in this little greenhouse. I've got pointed spear, I've got spiky moss, I have a mystery moss that I don't know the ID on, and then I have some hookerichia. So let's go ahead and start the clock for the time lapse. Today is September 27th, day one. I'm gonna spritz this daily with some water, not too much. And then as the water pools in the bottom of that tray, I'll go ahead and dump it. But just once a day a light spritzing i'm not using any fancy grow lights just a 32 inch nikru led light so super basic first week of growth you can see those light green spots that's where that new growth is starting to grow so it's already working and like i said you don't want to get it too wet if you start to use fertilizer if you get it too wet you'll start to see some algae growth so you don't want to do anything crazy i just use tank water tank water works fine so second week definitely some more growth it takes a little bit for the moss to transition to terrestrial life as well as when you take it back into aquatic life that submerged life it takes a little bit to transition as well so that's kind of what we're seeing here is the moss is getting used to being grown out of water but definitely some new growth 
All right, so three weeks in, we've got some more growth. The hooker EGMA seems to be growing a little bit slower than the rest. Then we've got our pointed spear, which pointed spear would grow in your toilet. This stuff is a beast. Our mystery moss, no idea what that is, but more new growth there. And then one of my favorite spiky moss. This stuff grows like sword-like tendrils which is, is really cool when it starts to branch out so you can see all of that new growth it's starting to take off five weeks and this stuff looks amazing doing fantastic we have a little bit of browning on some of them because i was neglecting it just a little bit but it's still growing it's still doing fantastic all right, so it's been about a month. I set that grow out up on 927. It is now 11.1, so a month and four days, but I moved it up here for the simple fact that I set up another rack. So before it was down there, and now that I have that other rack up, I needed somewhere to put it, so I threw it up there for now, but this is what I'm gonna do, so check it out. So I set up four new tanks. I got a 20 gallon and three fives. So I am going to put a type of moss in each tank and then use these tanks as a grow out for my shrimp or breeding colonies haven't decided yet. But once these are cycled, I'm gonna go ahead and take that moss and throw it in here. So I am not gonna do another update until these tanks are cycled. I'll show you what it looks like in the moss bin before I throw it in the tanks but then we'll go ahead and put it in the tanks and I might do another grow out and uh, do a time lapse for another month once they're in the tanks. So that way you guys can see it and we'll, we'll do an update on these tanks. We'll have this be like a uh, three month project or so. We'll, we'll see how it goes. See what my, my ADD does and how far I get with it. But so far these tanks are good. A mix of ADA and Brightwell. So we'll see how they do. Uh, I noticed my Brightwell tanks are lowering the pH to closer to like 5.5 to where the ADA is closer to six. So I wanna do a combo of them and we'll see, but a uh, decent size layer. Got a decent layer of substrate, totally missed, of substrate in here. So we'll see how the five gallons do, how they do as a grow out. And then of course the 20 gallon, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, I might do like a massive colony or something because the bigger the tank, the bigger the colony. So we'll, we'll see what I do with that. but. It's looking good so far we'll come back to you after that moss has grown out a little bit more and i get some lights for this rack so it's been a few weeks the moss has grown some more and now it is time to put the moss in some tanks so got a new rack set up got four new tanks got four types of moss let's throw those guys in those tanks throw those guys throw the moss in those tanks and let's see how they're doing but before we do that, I want to show you the growth. There's been pretty good amount of growth on this moss grow out. So let's go check that out real quick. But it's it's looking good. Check that out. So I set this up on September 27th. It is now November 28th. So about two months of growth. Let's see if I get a side shot here. But look at that. Look how good this moss looks. It's looking great. So can't wait to get it in the tank and see how it transitions to underwater life. These are the four tanks I set up for the moss grow out as well as some shrimp grow outs. I'm not quite sure what kind of shrimp I'm putting in here just yet, but it's a mix of ADA and Brightwell. So you can see you got some hair algae growing in there. So I'm gonna clean these up a little bit, get some of this algae out of here and then add them to the tanks, let them do their thing, let them kind of, you know, grow out some more and we'll check back with them, see how they're doing. But excited for this, I'll keep you guys updated. We got all the moss into the tanks. What we're doing now is we are transitioning this moss to the submerged growth because what we want to do is we don't want to give somebody a clump of moss that once it starts transitioning, it starts to die off. It turns brown. It looks terrible. We don't want to do that. So we'll let these guys do their thing.
We'll come back and check on them in a few months. So it's been quite a few months since I transitioned that moss into these tanks and I ended up moving them around the shrimp room already. But this is the hooker eat you. So you can see it's, it's doing really well now. And this is about half of it, if that. And then the uh, pointed spear, I believe. Pointed spear moss is doing really well. I haven't moved any of this out of this tank and it's taken off. I don't have the spiky moss in here anymore. This is Java moss. And I think I had some miscellaneous moss in here, which there's a little bit left in the pure red line grow out. I went ahead and moved the hooker moss into this new tank. So you can see there's quite a bit of hooker moss in there. And then the spiky moss I took in this tank. You can still see the little bits that were from the immersed growth, but it's transitioned pretty well. It looks great. And I'll be honest, I don't know where I put the other moss. I don't know what tank I put the other moss in. Uh, I'm guessing this tank. But either way, it's transitioned well, it's done good. So definitely a great way to grow moss. So this was a fun experiment to see if I could grow moss terrestrially and to see how fast it grows. And it definitely grows faster out of water than it does underwater. So it's a good way to propagate moss really quick, but make sure that you transition it back to the submerged growth before you uh, part ways with it. That way you're not leaving a bad taste in anybody's mouth for uh, when, you, when you sell it. You know, you don't wanna sell them a clump of moss and then half of it turns brown and it takes a little bit to transition to that underwater growth. So definitely take the time to transition it to the submerged growth. That way you're not, you're not giving somebody this clump of brown moss that's dying off and they think you gave them some bad moss. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you can go out and propagate some moss for profit. And I hope that uh, your shrimp tanks are prolific and everything is doing good. But if this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. But thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, 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 bye.